Welcome to Mike's Mr. October and more. And as you can see, I have an autograph of Hall of Famer Dennis Eckersley. And he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2004. And uh, he's one of two pitchers that won at least 20 games in a season and 50 saves in a season. I'll let you guess who the other pitcher is that did the same feat. And then I got to show you another Hall of Famer. And that's going to be Mike Mussina. And he was elected into Hall of Fame in 2019. Actually, when I saw his percentage, I was kind of surprised. Uh, I would have thought his percentage would have been well above 80%. He only got like 76% of the uh, vote to get in. And, uh, you know, if you look at his stats, he won in every season except for his first season, uh, at least 11 games or more in the season, his whole career. And uh, as you know, his last uh, season, he won 20 games. So basically, uh, what is I gotta do is an episode today of um, Major League Baseball players. Uh, as you know, this year is a leap year, so it's gonna be uh, on baseball players and part science class. Players that were born on February twenty ninth, and there's uh, believe it or not, there's only sixteen players in Major League history that were born on February 29th. So you ask yourself, what is a leap year? So I gotta get into it. Um, basically, it's an insertion of an extra day um, that creates a leap year in the Julian and Gregorian calendar. So as we know, uh, the Earth re rotates and all the planets rotate around the sun. So planet Earth, it takes 365.242 days to go around the sun. So what this does, it, it um, adds an extra quarter of a day or six hours uh, each year, uh, which is unaccountable or unaccounted for on the calendar. So what happens is all this time adds up. So... Uh, if we weren't to adjust this, the calendars would be all messed up in days. So just to give you an example, like Independence Day, July 4th, if we didn't adjust the calendar, we'd be celebrating July 4th like in fall or winter eventually if, they, <laughs> if we didn't adjust the calendar. So um, I have some cards of some players, and there's a lot of players I don't have cards, but I did do some printouts to show you who they are or were. And um, the first player is going to be, excuse my pronunciation, Blay Madras of the Houston Astros. That's a 2000, uh, 2023 Tops update. I don't have the card or set yet. And he was born in 1996. Next one is going to be Gerardo Concepcion. And he was born in 1992 on February 29th. Our next player is going to be Stephen Crichton of the Diamondbacks. I don't know if he's still playing for them. I don't think so. But he was born in 1992. I thought I'd just do this episode. Um, thought it'd be kind of fun. To do um, the next player, I'm sure a lot of you are, um, know of him, and that's Terrence Long. And Terrence was born um, on February 29th, 1976. Next player is going to be Bill Long. of the Chicago White Sox, and he was born in 1960. Here's the back of the card, if you're not familiar with it. See, February 29th. Okay, I gotta show you an error card on the back for a birth date here. 
But um, the next one is going to be Jerry Fry. He's on the left side there. And he was born in 1956. So let's take a look at the back of the card. Let's see if we can see it. Yep, there it is. February 29th, 1956. Next one is going to be Al Altry. He was born 1952. Okay, and that's the design of the 1977 set. Next one, uh, I'm familiar with, and I never knew he was born on February 29th, but I do remember him playing for the Royals, and that's Steve Mingori. And Steve was born on this on that date uh, in 1944. I'm gonna take these down since I'm running out of space. Now this one is an error card. I noticed on the back. And uh, believe it or not, I did not know this, but Al Rosen, former MVP, New York Yankee president, AL president. And um, I showed you in a previous episode, I have his autograph here. Now, he was born on February 29th, 1924. But if you look on the back of his cards, now I know sometimes people uh, choose either February 28th or March 1st. Now, it says here... March 1st, 1925, but I even checked on the computer system, uh, some different sources. Actually, he was born 1924, not 1925. I stayed on the back of tops here. So I guess, uh, you know, if you're a purist, that's an error. Now, I did not know this. Um, now he, uh, the next player, a lot of people know who he is, and um, that's Pepper Martin. I do not have a, uh, a card of his, but there are several cards. And he was born 1904. Pepper Martin. Never knew that. Truly amazing. Okay. Next one um, is a former Negro Leaguer, and that's Nish Williams. And he was also born in 1904. He's born in Atlanta, Georgia. Next player who was born on February 29th, 1896, is Ralph Miller of the Washington Senators. Hey, like those gloves. I really have evolved, haven't they? <laughs> Next one is going to be Roy Parker, who was born also in 1896. <coughs> Excuse me. Next one is going to be Ed Appleton, 1892. I'm going to take these down. Next one is going to be Shady Hauk, born 1856. Last pair would be Dickie Pierce, 1836, but I do not have a photo of him, nor could I find one. So those are all your 16 players. <clears throat> and... Um, I just received in the mail today and also the other day two cards I'm going to be showing to you that I'm really excited to show you. And I also purchased today part of my 1966 top set, a rookie card. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but it is a Hall of Famer. He pitched uh, in Game 2 of the 66 World Series and won 6 0. Uh, that's my only hint that I will give to you. So uh, he was the only card, uh, uh, this player that I got today. Um, I purchased his card that I was missing between number 100 and 199. So 
card one through 200 is fully complete of my 66 set. So I hope you stayed uh, long enough for this episode. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, any comments, and um, you know, if you like to subscribe, I'm up to 85 subscribers. When I get up to 100, I will have a contest. You know, I'll let you know in advance. I have a couple ideas. So let's uh, get up to 100. But um, I really appreciate everybody, you know, uh, watching this episode. And I thank you very much for watching Mike's Mr. October and more.